Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. I hope you guys are all hanging in there. Maybe breathing a little bit deeper. Taking a little bit more time to honor yourself, which you're doing by watching this video. So tonight's practice, or whenever you're watching this, um, I'm filming it tonight, is a very easy, gentle practice. It is to calm your nervous system. It's to protect your prana, your energy, your life force, to keep it like, contained right now. Um, it's to bring a sense of safety to every cell of your body. So tonight there will be a couple components. We have a couple different breaths that we'll be working with. Um, we're going to work with deep belly breath in the beginning and then alternate nostril breath in the end. And I just want to say that if you're really clogged up on one of your sides with allergies or cold or any of the above, um, try to breathe through because you'd be surprised at how much we can break up and shift and change even if we can just get a little tiny bit of uh, breath through that nostril. So if you're having a really hard time, it's really stuffed it up, maybe you want to have some Kleenex right by you in case things get a little out of hand. Um, so that will be at the end of our physical practice tonight. We are going to focus on the mental and emotional part too, keeping our energy pulled in and drawn in tonight, keeping our thoughts pulled in and drawn in into our body and not allowing other things to take our energy from us. Um, so really trying to shelve the worries and the stresses and the what ifs just for an hour. If you really need them, you can bring them all back in. You have permission. But for this next hour, try very hard to not give your energy away. Keep it for yourself so that you can be reset and recharged and you can then give of yourself again after 8.30. <laughs> So with that being said, we are going to start on our backs. You can choose to lay with your legs straight out in front of you, or you can lay with your knees bent and your feet flat to the floor, up to you. You're going to place your hands on your low, low belly, fingers just grazing each other on your belly. So as you inhale, your hands will come apart from each other. And as you exhale, your hands will meet back together. Okay, so hands on my low belly. I'm gonna walk my, your shoulder blades underneath you, get a little bit of space. Okay, inhale into those hands. Exhale out. Actively pulling your navel to your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling out through your nose or your mouth, your personal choice. Inhale. Exhale. Navel the spine. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Navel to spine. Good. Normal inhale. Arms down by your sides. And as you exhale, hug that right knee up into your chest. It doesn't matter if your left leg is long or bent, it's up to you. We're gonna hold for a whole breath cycle. And a whole breath cycle is an inhale and an exhale. 
And when you're ready to inhale, set your right foot or your right leg back down to the floor. And exhale, hug your left knee in. Full breath cycle. Inhale, set your left foot or left leg down to the earth. Exhale, right leg comes back in again. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, hug it in. Full breath cycle. And then inhale, set your left foot down. If your legs are straight, go ahead and bend your knees. Feet come to the earth. Arms come down to your side. Walk your shoulder blades underneath you just a little bit. Palms connected to your yoga mat. Inhale, push your feet and the backs of your arms into the floor. Rise up to a bridge. Exhale, lower it down. Keeping all of that energy drawn in. Inhale, lift up. Don't give your energy out to the ceiling. Keep your energy drawn in. Notice how different your bridge pose is when you keep your energy hugged into your body. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale up to bridge. Keep your energy for yourself. Exhale down. And one more time. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, lower it down. Good. Full breath cycle here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hug that right knee back into your chest. We're just going to do one round of this. Flex your right foot, hug that right knee in, full breath cycle. Inhale, press it down to the floor. Exhale, left knee comes in. Flex that left foot, hug it into your chest, full breath cycle. Inhale, place it down. One more time with those bridges. Keep your energy pulled in. Keep everything drawing into your body. Keeping that prana in your body. Arms down to your sides. Inhale up to bridge. Exhale lower. One more time. Inhale up to bridge. Exhale lower. Inhale. And then exhale, hug both knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. Your rocks can be big. Your rocks can be small. What feels good in your body? Maybe you do all sorts of stuff. Maybe the ankles circle around. Maybe you point and flex. And then we're going to roll all the way over onto our side. You're going to gently press yourself up, <laughs> crawl back onto your yoga mat, and press back to child's pose. Wide-legged child's pose is here with the big toes touching, knees spread wide, or you can take your legs close together into your child's pose. Do which one feels the most nourishing and supportive for you tonight. Okay, take a big breath in and exhale your forehead towards the ground or you can stack your hands on top of each other and bring your forehead to your hands. And find your breath. Come back to your breath. Come back to this very moment that you're in right now. Not giving away your energy. Thinking about how your child's pose feels to your body. Maybe you sway your hips a little bit from left to right. How do they feel? How do your knees feel? How's your back and your shoulders feel? Have you been working like crazy all day? Have you been in front of the computer all day? 
Can you feel it in your body? Can you take all of the day today and bring all of the pieces of yourself back to yourself right now? Breathing into your body. Then on your next inhale, we're going to come up to all fours. Okay, get your wrists under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. When you're ready to inhale again, take it to a cow pose. Exhale to a cat. Inhale to a cow. Oh, exhale to a cat. Inhale, neutral spine, and we're actually going to make our way all the way down onto our belly. Belly down, Shavasana. Point your toes. Go ahead and cross your arms in front of you. And we're going to rest our forehead on our wrists. And you are going to do your best to focus on your exhale and let your body melt into the floor. And we'll take three breaths right here. On your next inhale, you can keep your forehead on your wrist with your leg as straight as possible, I just want you to lift that left leg up off of the floor. Okay, exhale, plant it down. We're going to alternate legs. Inhale, right leg lifts. Point your toes. Exhale, lower. Focus on keeping all of that energy pulled in. Pull your core in just a little bit. Protect your low back. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, lower. One more to each side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, lift your head. Slide your hand back, back to your chest, under your shoulders. Squeeze your elbows in. And peel yourself up to a cobra of your choosing. You can stay low. You can go a little bit higher. You can go all the way. What feels good to your low back? Honoring your body the whole way through. I know you always do. Just a reminder. And then exhale. Pull that belly in. And come back to your child's pose, drawing all of your energy back to your center. On your next inhale, bring your gaze up slightly, rise up to all fours. This will be the only downward dog you see in this video today or tonight. So if you love downward facing dog, take some time here. If you hate it, this is the only one you got. Curl your toes under, exhale up and back, downward facing dog. You can stay right here, just stretching through the backs of your legs. You can start to pedal your heels. You can come high on your toes and let your heels sink in the direction of the earth, maybe. How do you want to move your body? And then on your next inhale, Look up to your hands and exhale, walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. Plant your feet hip distance apart or a little bit wider and inhale, arms all the way up to the ceiling. Big reach. Exhale, arms to your sides. 
mountain pose. Let your eyes close. Stand tall. Plant your feet to the earth. Find your breath. You can keep your hands right here by your sides. Or you can take your hands and plant them back on your low belly. Inhaling deep into that abdomen. Exhaling out. Inhale. And exhale. We'll do three more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Release your arms down to your sides. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Find a slight bend in your knees. Pull your belly to your spine. Nice flat back as you exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to that monkey pose. Exhale, slide down to your forward fold. This is going to be one move, two parts, as weird as that may sound. Inhale, monkey pose, and then rise all the way up. Exhale, arms to your side, mountain pose. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Make sure that you're not constantly repeating a motion that isn't healthy for your body. Find a little bit of bend to your knees. Pull your belly into your spine. Don't be afraid to really push those feet into the floor so you keep some engagement in your hamstrings so you're not constantly overstretching your hamstrings. Inhale. So you can squeeze your glutes a little bit as you come up into that monkey pose. See if you can keep the engagement or the squeeze in your glutes as you lower back down to your forward fold. Inhale, engage your glutes halfway. Take your arms out to the side, belly to spine. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, mountain pose. Two more rounds of that. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Need a little bit of mouth breathing right now. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. I'm going to bring my palms together to heart center. Stand it all the way up. Arms to my sides. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Again, I'm going to bring my palms to heart center. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, arms to your side, mountain pose. Connect back in, stand tall, proud heart. Inhale in, pull your energy back in. Keep it all to yourself right now. Long exhales, send that signal to the nervous system. Doing okay. Okay, and you just stand strong on your feet. Especially that right foot, actively press it to the ground. Squeeze your standing leg, arms come out to your side. When you're ready, we're going to inhale and lift that left leg up about waist height. You can be anywhere between waist height and the floor. Just don't go above waist height. We don't want a big pinch in the hip flexors, okay? So anywhere from waist height down, <laughs> I'm losing my balance. Come on, here we go. And flex that foot. Okay, you can do whatever you'd like with your arms. You can stay right here. You can reach your arms up to the ceiling. That's what feels good to me tonight. You could take your arms into cactus arms. What do you want to do? You can bring your palms together to heart center. Find your breath, stand strong and tall on that right leg. Pull all of your energy back in for yourself. Don't give your energy away right now. Keep it for yourself. 
Breathe deep. Let that nervous system know you're safe. You're stable. You're secure. Exhale, release. Mountain pose. Stand up tall on both those feet. Feel the connection of the earth underneath both of your feet. Proud chest, strong left leg. Engaged, arms to the side. Inhale, bring your right leg up now. Knee is bent, foot is flexed, 90 degree angle. Standing tall here. Proud heart. Take your arms to wherever they feel comfortable. Arms can come up. Cactus arms to the sides, palms at prayer position. Heck, if you're feeling wild tonight, you can even do a little bit of chest expansion right here. Talk about a wee bit of a challenge. Good. Exhale and release. Mountain pose. Stand up tall. Feel free to use a wall, a table, a chair, a couch. For this next one, we're going to take it into quadricep stretch. So stand tall. I'm going to turn so you can see me. I'm going to stand on my, I'm going to start, let's start on standing on our left leg. So let's switch it. So once you stand on that left leg, left arm comes out to the side, bend that right knee, reach back, grab a hold of your foot. See if you can hug your heel into your glute. See if you can pull your right knee towards your left, but then I want you to lift your belly button away from your pelvis, lift up. See if you can bring those hips forward a little bit, engage your glutes a little bit, okay? Use those opposite muscles, those opposing muscles, I'm falling over, to help stretch that quadricep. Proud and tall here, big deep breath. Good, slowly exhale and release. Stand tall in mountain pose. I'm gonna switch around, you're good where you're at. Use the wall, whatever you need to. Stand up tall, bend that left knee. We're gonna reach back and grab a hold of that left ankle or the top of the foot, whatever feels safe to you. Hug your knees together, maybe pull your heel to your glute. Pull your energy in, breathe deep. You guys know how to do this pose. You have this, you are secure, you have walls and furniture around you hopefully to support you if you need it. You have all the support you need in this very moment. Breathe into that support, stand tall, exhale slowly and release. Back to your mountain pose, feet directly underneath you, inhale arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, monkey. Exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, monkey pose again. Palms together, two heart centers. Stand it all the way up. Arms to your side, mountain pose. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Arms out to the side, all the way up. Mountain pose flowing or floating right in to that one-legged mountain pose, lifting your right knee up off of the ground. So technically your right foot is lifting up off of the ground, but that right knee is coming towards waist height. Okay, we're just staying here tonight. You can do crazy things, take your leg out, take it to the side, any of those things if your body is calling for it, but for this video, we're just staying here. And then exhale, mountain pose. Find your security in between. Find that support. Okay, inhale, left leg floats up. Maybe the arms float up too. Draw your belly to your spine and flex your left foot. Stand strong here. And if you don't feel quite stable, if you're coming out of it and you're coming back into it and you're coming out of it and you're wiggling and you're wobbling, that's perfectly okay. You're finding your footing. You're finding your balance. You're learning where you're at in this moment. 
with the body that you have in this moment. That beautiful, strong, stable body. Exhale, release. You got this. Good. No quadriceps stretch unless you really need it. Inhale, arms up, slight back bend, however. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey, all the way back up. Exhale, mountain pose. Okay, I lied. One more time. One more quad stretch. Stand on that right foot. I'm going to use the wall this time just because I want to focus on the stretch and not trying to keep my balance. I want my security and my stability right now. Don't we all? So stand with your hand, your right hand to the wall. Stand on your right foot. Bend that left knee, reach back, grab a hold of your left foot, squeeze it in towards your glute. Lift away from that quadricep muscle. Breathe, keep those knees pulled together nice and tight. Use those tools of intelligence, as my friend Haley says in her yoga class. This time my tool of intelligence is the wall. This wall knows how to be stable. Slowly release. Turn it around if you want, if you're using some tool of intelligent, intelligence. Bend that right knee, reach back, grab a hold of your right ankle. Pull those knees together. Engage your glutes maybe just a little bit. Lift. Breathe. Pull your energy back in. Are you giving it away? Has it wavered? Are you starting to think about other things? Does somebody come in and ask you for help? Pull that energy back in. Keep it in for yourself. And then slowly exhale and release. Good, come back onto your mat if you've moved away and come to the front of your mat. Bring your palms together to heart center. We're gonna open up with our right leg back into a warrior two. So on your next inhale, take that right leg back, open it up to a warrior two. See if you can line up your front heel with your back arch, okay? That foot's either parallel to the back edge of the mat or angled away from it just slightly. Gentle bend of the knees, lift up tall, proud. Take your energy, this is cool, if you can really visualize this or feel this, take your energy, instead of it going out today, take it and pull it in and up. And then take those fingers out but have them be accessories. All of your energy is harnessed in here, but those beautiful soft arms, they're just there because they're pretty. Look over that left finger, those left fingertips. Big breath in here. You are strong. Say that to yourself. You don't have to say it out loud. I am strong. I am strong. I'm strong. What does your tone of voice sound like? Inhale, straighten that left leg. Reach those left fingertips forward as you exhale. Triangle pose. I am stable. I am stable. I am stable. Hold it here. See if you get a little stretch. Stack those shoulders. Stack those ribs. Inhale, warrior two. Good, now watch me here. We're gonna bring our palms together to heart center. You're gonna to start to straighten that leg a little bit. Pivot on that left heel. So now I'm wide-legged facing you, right? But I'm gonna pivot now on my right heel and I'm gonna turn so that my warrior two now is facing with my right leg in front. Hopefully you followed along. Okay, warrior two. Think about that energy. Pull that energy in, up, harness it, heart, intuition, your gut knowing, your pelvis, your root chakra, your protection, your stability in your warrior two. I am strong. I am strong. I got this. I am strong. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Exhale, reach forward, hand to your shin, inside of your leg, wherever you like to do your triangle pose. Left arm reaches up to the ceiling. 
I am stable. Ooh, I am cramping. <laughs> uh, pop, pop, pop. I am stable. I'm stable. Maybe you're trying to convince yourself. I'm kind of trying to convince myself right now. Don't think I'm stable. But I'm going to say that mantra to myself because I'm going to believe it. And my kids would love it if I believed it. I am stable. Inhale, warrior two. I am strong. Palms together, two heart center where all of that energy of your own energy is harnessed. Straighten that leg and we're going to turn those toes to face whatever the video you're watching or face straight ahead. Long edge of your mat. Maybe your toes are turned in just a little bit. Heels are out up to what feels good for your knees and your hips. Palms together to heart center. Lift that chest up tall. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring them back behind you. Maybe you just grab a hold of the opposite wrist. Maybe you can interlace your fingers. Find height in your heart. That doesn't mean that you're giving your energy away. But it is saying, I have an open heart. I am willing to receive. I am open to receive. I am here for receiving. Hold it here. One more breath. Exhale, soften, release your hands back behind your back, palms together to heart center. Just for a moment, reminder, bring that energy back in. Then bring your hands to your hips, slight bend of the knees, press your glutes back, hands down to the earth, wide-legged forward fold. Go ahead and release. Let yourself drop down right here. On your next inhale, push your hands into the earth. Find a length in your arms underneath you. Turn your toes out just slightly. And as you exhale, bend that left knee and stretch through the inside of your right leg. Whatever variation or version of this stretch you, stretch you take is absolutely right for your body. So please take whatever variation is calling to you. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend that right knee, stretching through the inside of your left leg. What do you want to do with your body? Belly pulled in a little bit into your spine. Protect your low back. Inhale, center. One more to the left. Keep your energy harnessed in, please. Protect that prana, protect that life force. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend your right knee. Good, find your breath. Inhale to center, we're gonna walk our hands back to the front of the mat. We're gonna turn our feet into a lunge. Go ahead and lower your right knee to the mat, top of your foot to the mat. Shift your weight back, pull your toes back towards your body. Good. Exhale forward to a lunge. Exhale, shift your weight back, lift those toes one more time. Good. Inhale forward. Curl your right toes under, lift your right knee, walk your hands over like we're, we're going to wide-legged forward fold. I'm pivoting on my feet. I'm gonna walk all the way, pivot into a lunge with now my right foot is forward. Fancy, right? Get my energy pulled in. Left knee to the earth. Top of your foot to the mat, unless you prefer to keep your toes curled under. Exhale, shift your weight back, pull your toes back. Inhale here. Exhale, shift your weight into your lunge. Inhale here, exhale back again one more time. 
Good, shift your weight forward. Let's just bring both hands to the inside of your right leg. And now you can walk that right leg back around to your left and press back to a child's pose. Inhale, come all the way up to all fours. And you're gonna come down onto your glutes. I'm gonna face the camera. Maybe you're already facing the camera. Okay, preferably a comfortable seat, but this might not be work for you. So find a pose that works for you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale your right hand to the earth. Side bend over to the right, so you're opening up the left side of your body. Inhale, center. Exhale, left hand goes to the floor. Side bend to the left, opening gently the right side of your body. One more to each side. Inhale, up. Exhale, right hand down. Side bend to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left hand down. Side bend to the left. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to your mat. If you have short arms like me, it might just be fingertips. Maybe you can plant your palms. We're going to slide our legs straight out in front of us. And you're going to sit up nice and tall. Actively press into the mat. Find some height in that chest again. Open to receiving. Not giving away, open to receiving, tall, flex your feet. Soften the hold on the earth with your hands and bring your right knee up, okay? And you're gonna interlace your fingers in front of your shin. And I want you to just sit up really tall. Don't lose that beautiful neutral spine. Exhale, pull your foot up off of the floor. Lift, slowly begin to shift your leg over to your right shoulder. Breathe here, follow with me, it gets a little tricky. You're gonna take your left hand, release from your right hand, and you're gonna pull a little bit lower on your shin of your right leg, okay? I'm gonna take my right arm to the inside of my right leg, but I'm gonna grab the outside of my foot like I would with a happy baby. Oh. Lives in that neutral spine already. Okay, I'm gonna release. That left hand's gonna to come to the earth as a reminder to keep my spine nice and lifted. And I'm gonna gently straighten my leg. Check my spine, make sure I'm not cheating. Known to do that. Where your leg falls is up to you. It might be straight out in front of you. It might be off to the side more. Find your comfort level here. Find your breath. As you exhale, bend your knee and your elbow's gonna come to the inside of your knee. Your left hand's gonna sneak under, get a hold of your shin again. Your right arm's gonna come back around, interlace again, pull it back up towards your right shoulder, and then softly release it down. Take it long. Shift, maybe pull that skin out from under your sits bones, shift your clothes and your body. Be comfortable in your practice, always. Flex your feet. We're gonna bend our left knee now. Interlace those fingers around your shin. Tall, neutral spine though. Not overextended, keep it neutral. Exhale, hug your left knee into your left shoulder. Flex your feet. Hug it in, maybe lift it a little bit more to the side. Find your focus. Then take your right hand, release, bring it down a little bit on your shin. Left hand, your elbow is going to go to the inside of your left knee. You're going to reach and grab the outside of your foot. Man, I like hunger down so quickly. Proud heart, okay? Neutral spine, release with your right hand. It comes to the floor. Straighten that leg out. Breathe here. Take 
energies pulled in. As you exhale, take that knee to the outside of your elbow. Little sneaky right hand comes in and supports your left leg. Left hand comes around, hug it back in. Whew. And then exhale and slowly release. Ah, sit up tall, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands come to your sides. Push into the earth so much so that you're almost lifting your glutes up off of the floor. Find that strength, that stability in your upper body. Hug everything in, hug your ribs in, hug your belly to your spine. Even hug your sits bones together. If you're doing it right, your toes can actually kind of go out and away from each other. And then exhale and release. We're going to cross our legs again. This time I want you to take your non-dominant leg in front. And find a comfortable seat. And we're going to do a little alternate nostril breathing. So tonight we're going to do it with both sides, okay? You are going to start with an inhale on your right side. Let me see if I can explain this as we go, okay? So take a big breath in. Exhale all the way out. Take your ring finger, close up your left nostril, inhale in through your right. Take your thumb, close up your right nostril, open your left, exhale out through your left. Inhale in through your left. Close it up, open your right, exhale out through your right. I'm a little stuffy tonight. <laughs> inhale in through your right. Close it up, open your left. Exhale out. Inhale in through the left. Close it up. Exhale out through the right. Do the best you can. Inhale in through the right. Close it up. Exhale through the left. Inhale in through the left. Close it up. Exhale out through the right. I'm going to stop talking and I want you to just practice this on your own for another five rounds or so. One more round. The next time you're ready to exhale, release your hand down to your knee. Exhale out through both nostrils. Inhale in through both nostrils. Exhale out. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Good, palms together to heart center, pulling all of that energy in. You might have been giving your energy away to try to figure out how to do that breath or why it's not working or how come it feels uncomfortable and that is perfectly okay. But now we're just gonna let it go. Be in this present moment. Bring our energy back in to and for ourselves. And slowly begin to shift yourself all the way back onto your back. If you attempted that alternate nostril breathing, good for you. And if you didn't, that is fine too. It can be challenging. It's a great way to balance the right and left part of the hemisphere, of your brain. 
calm your nervous system great before bed all right <sighs> let's make it back onto our backs take a big breath in if you have a pillow or a block i just want to make sure i'm not getting ahead of myself if you have a pillow or a block handy okay or a blanket even blanket you're going to take it under your glutes right on your sacrum that upside down triangle that flat bone back there you're going to set your pillow or your block or your blanket underneath your hips on that flat bone and then i want you to take your legs up to the ceiling and you just stay right here you can point and flex your feet or circle them around or do whatever motion of the legs you want as long as those legs are above your heart you can do this however you would like and you're just gonna breathe right here you don't have to do deep belly breath if you don't want or you can bring it all the way back in. Maybe you're breathing well. Maybe that pranayama tonight has served you well. Maybe you just want to rest in those feelings. Breathe deep. Let's take two more rounds of breath. And then as you exhale, gently bring your feet to the floor. Maybe one at a time, protect your body. Lift your hips and take that block or that blanket out from underneath you. Okay. Take your left ankle on top of your right thigh, figure four, hands can come on your shins, hands can wrap around that right leg, we're just gonna rock left to right. Maybe you don't come off of that sacrum at all, maybe your rocks are really little. Maybe you wanna make them a little bit bigger. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and reach that right leg up to the ceiling. Maybe you keep rocking. Maybe you just stay stable right here. Bring your chin a little bit closer to your chest. Elongate through the back of your neck. And exhale, bring your right foot, release your leg, bring your right foot to the floor. Take your left foot to the floor and let's go ahead and switch that figure four to the other side. You can grab a hold of your shin. Woo. You can wrap your hand around that left leg. Okay, keep your knee bent, your foot flexed. And again, rock. And you know, this is your practice and your practice alone. If it doesn't feel right, that is where you stop. And you honor your body. Bring that leg up to the ceiling. You tell your body, I hear you. I got you. I won't do that. I'm going to protect myself. Keep myself safe. Keep myself secure. Good. Take a big, deep breath. And then exhale. Release your left foot to the floor and your right foot to the floor. Take your right arm out to the side and twist, supine twist, twist on your back. Take those knees over to the left. Find your breath. Gather up your energy. And stable 
I am secure. I am safe. And again, even if those th things you're not feeling right now, I'm not into the fake it till you make it. Ask my family. I can't fake anything. But I am into knowing that in some way, all those things are true inside of me, in my heart, in my intuition, in that root chakra. I am stable. I am secure. I am safe. I'm safe with myself. Inhale, bring everything back to center. Left arm out to the side, knees over to the right. You can take that too with so many ways. There's so many places that you are safe and stable and secure, even in a world that feels so unknown and so scary and shifting and moving and changing all of the time, there are still a lot of places in your life where you are stable, you are secure, and you are safe. I want you to breathe into those three statements. And then inhale, bring everything back to center. Take your legs straight out in front of you. Take your arms down by your sides or where they feel comfortable. Walk your shoulders underneath you and down your back just a little bit. Chin comes a little bit closer to your chest. Take a big breath in. Exhale all the way out. Inhale, I am stable. Exhale out, I am stable. Inhale in, I am secure. Exhale out, I am secure. Inhale in, I am safe. Exhale out, I am safe. Bring one hand to your low belly, one hand to your heart, actually to your heart, Go ahead and let your arms rest on your body. We're going to finish our Shavasana right here. If this for some reason is uncomfortable with your shoulders or whatever doesn't work for your body, please find the Shavasana that works for your body. Otherwise, we're just going to hold ourselves right here. Drop your arms down to your sides. Feeling and connecting to the earth underneath you. Breathing as you exhale. 
Right now, I want you to feel your energy move down into the earth. And as you inhale, I want you to feel that earth energy comes right back up to you. Exhale, root and ground. Inhale, receive. Exhale, root and ground. Inhale and receive. Start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Draw your knees up and roll yourself over onto your side. <sighs> Coming into that fetal position for a moment, that ultimate harnessing of your energy. Pull that energy in tight. Keeping your energy for yourself for one more minute, holding on and protecting that prana, letting every cell know in your body know in this moment you are safe. And then slowly begin to open those eyes, bring yourself back into the room, plant your hands, and slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seat one last time in our practice. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall, beautiful spine, receiving heart, open to the world now. Giving ourselves that moment to replenish. Thank you for being here. Bringing those palms together to your heart center or to your third eye, whichever one feels right to you tonight or today or this morning or whenever. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of yourself, for honoring yourself and knowing how divine you truly are. Namaste.